Okay, so here are some examples of how to do some of the questions that you're going to see on the homework that deals with writing equations in slope-intercept form. So it says, write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that passes through the given point and is parallel to the graph of the given equation. So we've already discussed that when you're dealing with parallel lines, that the equation has the same slope but a different y-intercept, okay? So same m, same slope, but a different y-intercept, which is b. So what are we going to do? Let's do number 7 here so that we can see. We see that the point is 1, 3. That's the point of the line that we need to write, the new equation we need to write. And the equation of the given line is y equals 3x plus 2. So what we know is that in order for a, par a line to be parallel, it has to have the same slope, but a different y-intercept. So what are we going to use as our slope? We're going to use 3 as our slope because it has to be the same as this equation here. So we know that our m is 3, and they give us the point 1, 3. And then so what all we really need to do here is substitute this, uh, this m value this x value and this y value into the equation, solve for b, and there we get our slope-intercept form. So we have here, if I do it that way, using slope-intercept form, y equals 3, that's my slope, times whatever my x value is, plus b, right? So my x value is going to be 3, I mean 1, sorry, and my y value is going to be 3. Erase that here and put it here. So my slope is 3, my y value is 3, and my x value is 1. So I just worked this out. 3 times 1 is 3. And now we get 3 equals 3 plus b. So then I subtract 3 from both sides. And I get b equals 0. So my equation that gives me a line parallel to this line here, y equals 3x plus 2, is going to be the equation y equals 3x plus 0. And since my y-intercept is 0, and adding 0 to something doesn't change it, well, I could just write this much more simply as y equals 3x. Let's go ahead and try this second one. Let's go ahead and try number 10. So, number 10, we have the equation y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 6. And we need to write a new equation with that goes through point 2 comma negative 1 and is parallel to this line here. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to use the same slope. That slope that they give us here is negative 3 over 2. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in here. I'm going to write y equals negative 3 over 2x plus b, okay? And then we're going to substitute our x and our y values from the point 2 comma negative 1 into this equation. So negative 1, y is negative 1, equals negative 3 over 2 times my x value, which is 2, plus b. Then we go ahead and work this out to solve. So negative 3 over 2 times 2, these cancel each other out, correct? So we get negative 1 equals negative 3 plus b. And we add 3 to both sides, and we get b equals 2. Now we can write our equation. We're going to come back up here to this equation of y equals negative 3 over 2x plus b, and instead of writing b, we're going to write 2. So our, our equation looks like this, y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 2. And this is our equation of a line parallel to the line y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 6.